So I would like everybody to go to their Thanksgiving dinner and think of it as the mission field. Mm. Now, when you're a missionary, and there are a lot of people who know missionaries on this call, and I've had missionaries on both sides of my family, you don't kick down the door and scare people. <laughs> Number one That's tip of what not do to do. Yeah. yeah. You don't say, you know, you're you're awful. You're the worst. Because that's that's <laughs> you're not gonna get me convert. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that. Yeah. You are going to run toward darkness with light, and you're going to try to be winsome, and you're gonna listen to the circumstances of people's lives, and you're going to tell them if you're a missionary about God's love for them. That's how you win people over. Okay. So, so, so if you're not, that, that's a good thing to do on Thanksgiving too, by yeah. the way, is reminding people that God loves them. Yeah. But, but, but now do it in a more personal way. Go there with the intention of winning people's hearts by having them know that you love them. And you know what that means? That means listening. That means being caring. That means giving. That means being persuadable. And that means saying the three words I love you. And this Thanksgiving, here's my challenge to everybody. Here's the, how to get into the mission field. On Thanksgiving, there's going to be somebody where that's hard to say <laughs> and maybe scary. And if it, if it isn't scary, then it's not exactly the right person to be your challenge. Mm -hmm. Make it an entrepreneurial challenge and try to leave having somebody say, you know, my niece... I disagree with her politically. My aunt, my aunt Marge, she <laughs> sure is a lefty. Uncle Bill, what a right winger. But I'll be darned. Uncle Bill loves me. He told me. That's my challenge.